Stopping number two. Every year we have Jim and Kathy married for 45 beautiful years. Let's hear for a couple. Number three. Cool. I'm going to ask you ladies the questions first, then we're going to go with the gentleman. All right? So now, the way it is right now, it's so easy. You guys can read whatever is written. So I need you guys to step back for me, please. Step back, step back a little bit more. Now, if you turn to your left, you're going to see Fuzzy. Everybody say, hi, Fuzzy. Hi. Follow her, please. We're going to take you guys to the, to the soundproof room. Everybody say goodbye to the guys. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Hey! Oh my! Goodbye! Woo! Cheerio! Hmm. Woo! -hoo! Cheerio! Fruit loops. All right. <laughs> See the joke. All right. This is how we're gonna do. Ladies, don't protect the guys. You answer first. After we're done, the guys are gonna answer on an open microphone. All right. And we're gonna see how many correct answers we have. Now, all of you in the audience, I want now all couples to play the game. Uh, if you're married or not, play the game. Let's see how much you know or don't know about each other. All right. So go for it. One request on behalf of all the men in the lounge. We lose our memory before you ladies lose yours. You know that, right? <laughs> it's a fact. It's a fact. You know, we lose, we lose our hearing before you lose yours. You know, exactly, right? And you know why? God is good. <laughs> Look at the ladies looking at me like... <laughs> I'm just serious. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's see if my clapper is still working. If I clap three times, I have dramatic lights. Oh. Here we go. Question number one. Ladies, you're not going to say anything. You're just going to write it down. All of you play the game. Here we go. Question number one. I want to know when and where did you and your husband meet for the very first time? I need a place and what year was that? Now, keep in mind, keep in mind that if you met online, and it happens a lot this, this time, you know, like uh, nowadays. If you met online the first time, the two of you first met in person. In person. Not last, like I said before, the last voyage for this vessel um, as the victory. Uh, so I decided to do things a little bit different. We're going we're gonna to spice it up during this cruise. Oh, yes. These next questions are not Carnival's regular questions. These are mine questions. <laughs> Question number two. Ladies, what was the name of your husband's last girl before you? Oh no, and there's more. And how would you describe that person? Whoa. I want her name first, and then you say whatever you want about her. You can, you can say bad things. No, I am gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reveal. I'm gonna be the one revealing. So that means that I can, I can clean it up if needed be. All right. So first, I need her name. Then you can call her name. Her, his last girl before you, whatever it was. His last girlfriend. Take a guess. It can be, can be his last. She is now. Question number three. Let's see how long it's gonna take. Question number three. Ladies, don't protect the guys. What is your husband's most annoying, or perhaps his most disgusting habit? The one thing that he does in private or in public that drives you crazy and not in a good way. Doesn't matter how many times you tell him to stop, he keeps doing it. Maybe embarrasses you. His most annoying or his most disgusting habit. Listen to the crowd. They're always very honest. The crowd, and I respect the honesty of the crowd. Check this out. What do you think is the guy's number one disgusting habit? Farting, passing gas. Yes, it's true. That's number three. You know, toilet seat is number three. Snoring is number two. Passing gas is number one. Most popular is. And let me defend the guys on this one. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm sorry, but we all do it. It's a natural body function. If you don't do, you can actually get sick. You can get ill. You know that, right? Everyone does it. Everyone does it. You should always do it. You should never hold. I'm doing it right now. I'm doing I do it on stage. I, I do it all the time. I don't hold it. <laughs> I didn't, I wouldn't do it. But for us guys, you know, we don't care, right? I mean, we think it's funny. Farts are funny for, for us guys. But ladies are the ones that go like, that's nasty, that's disgusting. We all do it. Listen, and ladies, if you think, a lot of ladies, I promise you, some ladies, they're here in the lounge and, and they insist, I don't do it in front of my husband. 
If you are one All of those, don't trust me. Don't trust me on this. <laughs> Look at your husband's reaction. If he laughs, he knows what I'm talking about. You ladies, you think you don't do it in front of your husband because you spend your days in high heels, tight jeans, sucking it in tents, right? You can't do it like that. But when you go to bed and you relax and fall asleep, that's when the magic happens. Isn't it right? Yeah? Late at night watching TV, we hear, we laugh, we don't care, we think it's funny. We don't even wake you up, we just go with it like, <laughs> We play the fart game. You know what the fart game is? He knows. The guys know what the fart game is. Do you know what the fart game is, ladies? Oh no, it's not with the 